Joey Teller. Yes, Green Bear. Who's Aesop? Oh, Aesop. You've never heard of Aesop? No. Oh, well, he's famous for a lot of stories that you probably have heard, but maybe you didn't know his name. He writes fables. What's a fable? A fable is a story uh, with a moral at the end. What's a moral? Like a good lesson at the end, a good takeaway to take from the story that you can apply to your own life. Oh, I, I think I know what that means. All right, shall we put you to the test with a story? Oh, you, you, okay, nervous. Don't be nervous. I uh, want to scooch over so I can open the book. Oh, yeah, oh, okay, let's go. All right, Green Bear is excited. All right, this is a big book of Aesop's fables, kid, and there's a lot of stories in here because Aesop wrote a lot of stories. So, I have picked out this one. The Milkmaid and Her Pail. A farmer's daughter was walking through the rough forest pass to the market, carrying a pail of milk on her shoulder. Yes, on her shoulder, because that is what milkmaids used to do, and they did it very well. To while away the long walk, she began to think about how much money she would get for the milk and what she'd do with her share of it. Hmm, it's good creamy milk, she thought. I can buy a few laying hens and a cockerel and sell the eggs, but not all of them. I'll let the hens hatch some and I'll rear them so I'll have a whole flock of laying eggs. The price of eggs is good just now, and if they're good layers, I should be able to sell, say, a hundred a week. A year from now, I should have enough egg money for a new summer dress. A red dress would be nice. Oh, she has big plants. She stepped carefully around a puddle. And if it's summer, I'll need a hat, she thought out loud. A wide-brimmed one or a neat little bonnet? And a shawl for when the evenings are cool. She had to stop for a moment because a stone had found its way into her old wooden clogs. She shook it out, taking care to keep the pail of milk steady and began to think about the shoes. I'm sick to death of wearing clogs all the time, she said. Clogs are kind of hard. When I have uh, enough egg money, I'll buy some soft, elegant shoes to wear for best and for dancing. I'd love to have some dancing shoes. I'll go to parties and dance beautifully and everyone will be so impressed. The girls will be jealous and the young men, dot, dot, dot. She was enjoying this idea so much. She danced a few steps along the path, holding her head high, forgetting to watch the uneven ground. Boop! A loose stone slipped away under her foot, and unable to help herself, she tripped and fell, sprawling on the ground as milk splashed away and sank uselessly to the earth. Oh, no! The poor milkmaid sat in the middle of the path and cried. There was nothing to do now but go home with no chickens and nothing to show for the day. That's it? Well, look at the moral. Don't count your chickens before they are hatched. That's where the saying comes from? Exactly. From the story of the milkmaid and her spilt milk. Which maybe, you know that saying, don't cry over spilt milk? Oh, yeah! That Aesop, he thought of a lot of clever things, huh? Yeah. Maybe we'll read more stories about him. Yeah, I want to hear more. Excellent. Well, then you know what to tell the kids. Oh, yeah. Subscribe.